me? It is indeed. Uh, what is it? Friday? The something of October. I think it's the 5th today. Yeah, it is. Friday the 5th of October. This is the Motorcycle Diaries. I am Luke Wilkins. I've uh, been riding the Harley Nightster 1200 now for the last three days. Did a big report on it on Wednesday. Yesterday was a little bit tired and stuff because of my club night that I started on Wednesday night. Um, but it's got to go out on it and uh, today I'll be riding it for the last time before Harley can pick it up. That's a good sign. The onboard camera just fell off. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get any onboard footage of this bike purely because uh, there's nowhere to stick the camera where it won't fall off. I'm going to get one sorted on my helmet ASAP. Uh, which is quite frustrating, but hey, as you can see, the onboard camera didn't quite make it, which is pretty good when it got started up and vibrating. But having ridden this yesterday, obviously coming off the CBR 600RR, it was a bit of a shock getting on it, but actually having had a chance to kind of nip around town on it yesterday, just relaxing and ride, there are so many benefits and stuff that come through compared to something like that that you probably don't realise. I mean, just to nip on a bike to the shots and look cool, you can't really beat this. It's what, seven, eight thousand pounds. You're not going to take it out and try and do track days. You're not going to take it out for a big long ride out. You're going to get on this. You're going to have your girlfriend on the back maybe, if you have the seat obviously. You're going to just nip to the cafe, nip to the shops. It's wicked. It is cool for that reason. And nothing looks cooler than this Harley really when you get there. If you're looking for that retro 60s kind of Elvis styling almost. And uh, I've really fallen for its character. I've fallen for its looks. I've fallen for that plucky 1200 engine. And yeah, it's good. So what I'm going to do now, nip into work. See if I can get some onboard footage. If I can't, I can, which I apologise about, but the camera doesn't stick, so I'll sort out my helmet cam very, very shortly. Um, and then I'm getting a new bike, because I'm taking the CBR 600R back to Honda today to find out what that is. And then, as from tomorrow, it's a Suzuki SV650S. So, my friends, until then, ride safe. Right then, so made it in, here I am at work, uh, having ridden this for the last time, which I'm actually a little bit emotional. It's that classic scenario I find with a lot of Harleys. When you ride them after riding a sports bike, you know, you are, you have all these sort of like preconceptions like, blimey, I'd like a brake that, you know, actually stops you and stuff like that. But when you get on something like this and you realise that it's not supposed to be ridden at, well, 100 miles an hour, I think it only gets to about 75 anyway. But you know what I mean? It's supposed to be ridden cruising around, relaxing. And I keep saying this and I keep doing it every time I do a Harley, I've got to stop. But yeah, I've actually really liked the character on this bike. That twin, it's plucky, you know, it's not going to outrun many bikes, but it's not the point. It gets you somewhere in style with ease. The looks of this thing are what it's all about, man. So you just imagine turning up at a bike meet or at a nice restaurant or something like that. On the back of that, black leather's on. Women love it. And men love it too. If you're a woman and you want to ride one, it looks damn cool. I love the retro styling. I love the old temperature gauge I pointed out before there. I um, really like everything about it. It is very minimalistic. It has self-cancelling indicators, as uh, all Harley seem to have nowadays, which are actually really useful. And when you get back on, a uh, normal bike doesn't have them. You leave your indicators on all the time. Um, single gauge there, which just means it kind of keeps that minimalistic streak all the way through. And as I mentioned, I've actually just really kind of I got into this thing now, uh, being someone who's into his metal and rock music as well, I obviously kind of go with the image of the black, kind of matte black thing, although that's unfortunately the reason why I've got no onboard footage, because my onboard camera won't stick to matte black finishes. Um, I'm going to sort it tonight, I'm going to get the, the helmet uh, thing, stick it on the back of there, because uh, I've managed to buy one, so get that sorted, so we'll never have a problem where we can't get onboard footage from a bike again. But yeah, they're going to come from Harley today to pick this up, and I've really, really really enjoyed riding it. It has been completely different from other bikes I've ridden. Uh, it's very different even from the XR1200, uh, the actual kind of sports bike that Harley do, because it hasn't got that sporting pedigree. It's a lot thinner, a lot narrower, but as I say, for character and for looks and for style, can't really go wrong with the Harley 1200 Nightster. And I'll be getting some insurance quotes uh, from Express to put online. Until next time, my illustrious compadres, ride safe. Later, I'm going to go and uh, pick up a new bike from Honda. Or may might drop me one off because it's going to be raining and I don't like going to walls in the rain. So, see you later, amigos.